thank you for joining and welcome to our smiley talk on how to train yourself to be happier. We want to change our life. We want to have a new perspective and yet very often we find it hard to actually get there. The core thing that we have to be really aware of is when we're kind of on that loop when we're having the same mindsets which then provokes the same behaviour so we're kind of doing the same things day in and day out. It's because we're having the same thoughts and not only are those thoughts predominantly negative but they're also the same as we had yesterday. It's like if you put your hand on a hot stove you wouldn't leave it on there <laughs> so why yeah. would you stay in negative emotions for a long time? Mm -hmm. Shifting it is hard, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of courage because we don't know what's on the other side. So I think there is an element of fear that can often come up. When you're having a negative thought, sometimes it is actually also guiding you. It's kind of saying, this doesn't work for me anymore. The irony is that if you don't catch it and label it, you won't have the resources to be able to deal with a real threat when it comes up. You know, you've got the good judge and then you've got the bad judge. If we embrace that both exist within us, but I'm in charge, I can choose which one I choose to listen to today, right? Yeah, that's interesting. I've heard of labeling thoughts before, but I've never heard of the judge. And I can imagine now having any negative thoughts, I'm gonna be like, there she is, there he is. The key to really transformational change is there's the 20% insight, but then there's the 80% practice. The first 17 seconds of being awake sets the tone for your entire day. Personally, affirmations have been incredible. Empower myself through changing, I guess, the words I'm feeding my brain. Information comes in and I can go, ooh, let me take a moment. Let me notice what feels good about this, what feels scary, what is my evidence, what is fact, what is myth. Part of that journey is really working out what is my voice, who am I in the situation. Maybe there's an opportunity, maybe there's a blessing within what is happening right now. Affirming yourself, believing yourself and really kind of moving into the version of you that you want to become. Mm -hmm.